Hello, welcome to another video. This time we're going to go over remote audio. Uh, this is a request from uh, Rukia and Toxic Cookie who wanted to uh, basically emulate the um, setup for audio that I have on my avatar. So on my avatar I can take off my face and I can move it around and you'll see that not only does the volume still work but the audio source still does. This might not come across on the video but I'm um, orbiting my face around the uh, camera that I'm recording with right now so it may show that the audio comes from my face and not from the uh, face of the avatar which is standard. Um, if that didn't come across on the video, that's fine. I am uh, recording videos for best audio, not for best uh, laughs. But if you see me in game, you can uh, ask me to show you how this works and I'll, I'll, I'll show you how it works. But there's also a video here that shows you um, how to set it up. So let's get started. Uh, I'm going to be using um, this setup here, which is a simple y bot that's got a hat on. Um, I wanted to make something simpler that wasn't my avatar because my avatar is very complicated. If you want to follow along at home, um, go to my public folder. Inside my public folder, there's a folder called tutorials. Inside that is avatar tutorials. Inside that is remote audio. The first option here is remote audio base, and there'll be a second item here, which is remote audio setup, which will be the result of me setting this up in the tutorial. So you can double check if you haven't done anything, you know, if you've missed anything, you can check a, a working copy of it. So first of all, we're going to talk about how audio on an avatar works. So I'm going to go ahead and inspect the head of this avatar. And just actually, first of all, we'll talk about the, the beanie. So I've got a beanie here. It's a snapper. Um, and I will link in the video description a uh, snapper tutorial so you can see how snappers work. Assuming you're familiar with those, though, you can just uh, follow along with the rest of it. Uh, so this is the top of the bell of the beanie, it's the, with the parent, etc. And so I'm going to put that to one side as we'll need in a moment. But I'm going to go to the top where there's a head proxy and talk about the uh, audio on the head proxy here. So you'll see um, here on the uh, head proxy is this is where the avatar audio is usually coming out from. So where your voice usually comes out from. And it's generated from um, a few components. So there's the avatar voice source designer, the avatar audio or output manager, and the audio output here. Um, additionally, there's the avatar voice range visualizer. These um, one, two, three, four components all come together to uh, make the avatar's audio work. And I'll explain what each one does. But all you basically need to do is delete these components from the head proxy and recreate them on your remote object. And that's what we're going to be doing. So we'll go through them in turn. So the avatar voice source assigner is similar to um, the avatar... Uh, finger pose source assigner and various other things like that. It um, assigns the voice source to the target reference when you equip an avatar. So in this case, when I equip this avatar, it takes my audio source, which is on my user and not my avatar, and it will assign it to the um, source here on the audio output source right here. And the audio output is what actually makes the audio come out, makes the audio um, interact. You'll see here that this is set to um, various options, including volume zero. If I were to equip the avatar, which I can actually do now, and then go take a look at this uh, thing here, you'll see that it's now enabled and has a volume. If I go ahead and mute myself, you'll see it gets disabled. If I go to whisper, you'll see that it alters the volume and turns on spatialization and roll off mode, etc., to create a whisper sphere. So that's how you can tell that it's the audio output. I'm going to hop back into this one and uh, move myself to one side. There we go. So that's the audio output. The avatar audio output manager is the thing which will um, control all the various properties about the uh, our audio output based on the uh, audio output uh, settings and the user settings and all sorts of things like that and the uh, active user as well. The avatar voice range visualizer is what controls the um, the whisper sphere and things like that. Uh, it controls the the color of that sphere and what it looks like in the world. So to recreate this onto the beanie, what we're going to need to do is go to the beanie and essentially just duplicate everything across. I always leave this open and I don't delete the components till I'm done, just so I don't forget anything. I also advise you to create a child object within the object that you want to be the audio source um, and just call it audio. Otherwise, you can have a lot of components grouped together. So we'd have a lot of components up here grouped with the grabbable and the snapper otherwise. So here on the audio setup here, I'm going to go ahead and attach these components. Um, if you don't know where they are, there's actually a way that you can cheat, and it's the way that I'm going to recommend doing this one, because I don't actually remember where most of these components are. And what you can do here is, if you grab, actually I'll grab a stock one rather than my custom one, if you go to um, Essential Tools, 
and you grab this yellow tool here, component clone tip, you can copy across the components quite quickly. So with the component clone tip equipped, you can grab Avatar Audio Output Manager, push secondary, and you'll see Avatar Audio Output Manager here. Click the handle of the inspector and you'll see it gets added. We can go back and we can do audio output, click it and you'll see it gets added. Avatar voice range assigner, secondary, primary, you'll see it gets added. Um, avatar user reference assigner, we will need one of those. Get that assigned and avatar voice source assigner. Oh dear. Uh, And there we go. That's a nice quick way of copying components from one side to the other. So now you'll see on this new audio object on the beanie, I have the audio output manager, the audio output, the avatar voice range visualizer, the avatar user reference assigner, everything is uh, there and set up. Next thing I'm gonna do is uh, clear out some of these properties so that it uh, only refers to nulls um, as we're gonna have to redo those. I'll just clear these all out. And then we have to set them up manually. All the other settings should be saved as uh, normal, so don't worry about those. So for the Avatar Audio Output Manager, what you do here is just go down and uh, assign them in turn. So Enabled goes to the Enabled of the Audio Output. Volume goes to the Volume. Uh, Doppler, what does Doppler go to? We'll leave Doppler. Spatialize goes to Spatialize. Spatial blend goes to spatial blend. Oops. Min distance goes to min distance. Max distance goes to max distance. Roll off mode goes to roll off mode. And Doppler level goes to Doppler. There we go. That's all assigned there. The audio output grab audio output and put it into audio output and you'll see that that is then all set up. The only one that you hear that isn't set up is the active user property. To set that up go to your avatar user reference assigner and put the active user property into that. So active user, grab active user, drop it into the references here. We'll delete these because we don't need them until um, until we need them. We might need more. We'll, we'll, we'll get to them when we get there. Okay, uh, that's the Avatar Audio Output Manager done. The uh, audio output is done for a little bit. We'll do a little bit more in a moment. Um, actually, might as well do it now. So at the bottom here, you'll see Avatar Voice Source Assigner. Here we'll take um, the source property from Audio Output, put that into the target reference for Avatar Voice Source Assigner, and then that will be assigned. And that will be... Uh, Audio output manager done, audio output done. Now we just need avatar voice range visualizer sorted out. Um, that needs a reference to the audio output, so we'll chuck that in. Uh, it needs reference to the volume source, which is volume. It needs an active user, so we'll add another property to avatar user reference assigner, and we'll put active user into there. Um, we also need a visual for the whisper sphere. Um, to do that, you can go ahead and grab this, which is the voice range visual from the avatar proxy, uh, head proxy, that is the whisper bubble, and go ahead and duplicate it, and then move it across. When moving stuff across like this, uh, especially the whisper sphere, make sure that you go to the top and do reset position, um, also do rotation as well, because the rotation shouldn't matter. Um, and then we can move the head proxy to one side and we're going to need to pop the voice range visual out and assign a bunch of properties to that as well. So uh, we will need the visual root, which is the uh, voice range visual. We'll need active user as well, which means we'll need another property on the avatar user reference assigner. So I'll go ahead and, oh, I did that one actually. Well, we can always double check because uh, it, will let us, it won't. Shouldn't let us do oh yeah the IDs. So if you're unsure if you've assigned something, you can see by the IDs here. So you'll see here it says ID one F zero two eight two hundred, and then below that it says the exact same thing. So we know that we've already done that one. So we can go ahead and remove that second one. Okay, so that's active user done. The visual size we need to go to the. Um, 
render a sphere mesh on water assets. Ah, that's on the scale property. So we can put that into the visual size there. And then color is the emissive color of the material that's on the voice range visualizer. So I can go into there like that. And with that, we should be done. So to test this, what I usually advise doing is going across to your head proxy here and just deleting the stuff that uh, you've duplicated across. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the voice source designer, delete the audio output manager, delete the audio output, delete the avatar voice range visualizer and the user reference designer as that now longer works. And uh, then you're done, or at least you should be done. We will now double check. So what I'm going to do is go back to the audio slot here, which all has nulls in it right now, and equip this avatar. Head round to the um, front, and you'll see everything here is assigned. The source isn't assigned, which is interesting, because that should work. Oh no, I remember that has to be like higher, um, higher up sometimes. So the user, the users has worked, but the voice source assigner didn't work. Okay, if this happens, the easiest way to do that is to go ahead and grab your um, grab your component clone tip, grab the voice source assigners so that you've got it, um, and then head up to the, the root of the avatar. So I'll grab a second window to do that. Head up to the root, find the head proxy, select the head proxy, re-add that to the head proxy, and uh, then uh, assign it to the source here. And then it should find it, and then remove that one from your audio slot. So now if I equip this avatar and then re-equip this avatar. Yep, now we've got the source assigned. So that source has to, voice source assigner has to be on the head proxy. Sorry about that. Um, so now all of these are assigned. You'll see everything here. Nothing here is null. Everything's assigned to the beanie, um, including the uh, whisper sphere. So now what I'm going to do is take off the beanie. And I'm going to uh, push the beanie away. And I'm going to enter Whisper Sphere mode. And you'll see here that the Whisper Sphere is attached to my beanie. And that means that the voice source is now coming out of the uh, out of the beanie and not the um, not the head of my avatar. So again, I can't really record this that obviously within Cyaneus, but uh, the voice is not coming from my head now, it's coming from that beanie. I've just noticed here that the um, size of this sphere is probably incorrect. I know it's being driven, so that's probably okay. As long as that's one and that's... Uh, yeah, that's fine. So it's going to it's gonna drive the size of that sphere to the appropriate size for a whisper sphere. It just it looked slightly big, but then I remembered it's a hat that we're wearing. With this done, everything should work when you uh, save and load the avatar. So what I'm going to do here is put the hat back. Just get out of Whisper Sphere mode. Um, let's put the hat back on. There we go. So now I'm wearing the hat again. And I'm going to go ahead and save that into my inventory. I'm going to put it into the public folder where I said that I was going to put it. Uh, so that's tutorials, avatar tutorials, remote audio, save. I didn't rename it, so I'll have to do that next, but uh, we'll do that from here. So here you'll see that, um, let me have a to smooth POV, that I've got uh, two in there now. I've got base, and then this will also be called base, but I'll rename it um, after the video. If I now spawn this avatar in, you'll see that there's a copy with the hat on. I'm going to close all these inspectors so that you can see that nothing funny is going on. I'm going to go ahead and equip with this one, which isn't this one, so I'm going to delete this one. Um, so I've equipped the new one here, and I'm going to go ahead and inspect myself. I'm going to head up to the head proxy, and you'll see again that the head proxy hasn't got any audio stuff on it. Um, but it gives me a convenient way to get down to the hat here, so you can see we're on the, the beanie. And you'll see that the audio is set appropriately, everything's all set up, all these are... Um, uh, all set up with Opus Streams, you know, all this is all pink, which means it's all driven. None of these are null. None of this is null. All of this is like all all set up and good. If I go ahead and mute myself, you'll see that the enabled is turned off and that no one can hear my voice, etc. and stuff like that. That's all there is to it. I uh, 
Hope you found the video helpful. I apologize for the, the jumping around and that mistake where I put the avatar voice source assigner in the wrong place, but still, within 15 minutes you'll know how to make remote audio. Let me know what you think. If you've got any questions, let me know. Check that folder that I, saw, uh, I referred you to, which is the um, tutorials, avatar tutorials, remote audio, and you'll see a base that you can play around with that's just a, a hat um, on top of the Wybot, and then one that's set up as well that you can play around with if you want to take a look at it. That's essentially exactly how this works. I will give you a quick look inside here just to prove that. Um, even though I said I wasn't going to, I will. So the mask has audio. And again, you'll see all of those components there. There you go. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.